Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Ingram. This is the Ingram Angle from Washington tonight. An elderly man with a poor memory and one who willfully retained and disclosed classified documents. That is how special counsel Robert Hurd described the current president of the United States in his report on the Biden classified documents investigation. Now, while Hur ultimately decided not to charge Biden for mishandling the classified documents going back decades, the bigger news was what his team uncovered about the president's mental faculties or lack thereof. The 345 page document is the must read tell all of the day, complete with gems like this. He, the president, did not remember when he was vice president, forgetting on the first day of the interview when his term ended, if it was uh, 2013, when did I stop being vice president? And forgetting on the second day of the interview when his term began in 2009 as still vice president. He did not remember even within several years when his son Bo died. And his memory appeared hazy when describing the Afghanistan debate that was once so important to him. Now, there is simply no way to explain this. You know the White House is worried about the report when Biden's attorneys felt the need to dispute the findings about the president's terrifying memory lapses, writing, we do not believe that the report's treatment of Biden's memory is accurate or appropriate. The report uses highly prejudicial language to describe a commonplace occurrence among witnesses, a lack of recall of years old events. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, these are two white collar criminal attorneys, right? They allege the report's treatment of Biden's memory isn't accurate or appropriate? Now, are they accusing Mr. Herr of fabricating the fact that Biden couldn't recall even the general time frame of when his son died? Or, or are they implying uh, that President Biden was lying and really did remember those things? How is it highly prejudicial to quote the president's own answers verbatim. Must be MAGA's fault. Now, Hur's team went into detail about the president's debilitated memory, not to be cruel and not for political reasons, but because it's relevant to whether they could have established intent. Writing in the report, in a case where the government must prove that Mr. Biden knew he had possession of the classified Afghanistan documents after the vice presidency and chose to keep those documents, Knowing he was violating the law, we expect that at trial, his attorneys would emphasize these limitations in his recall. Now, marinate on that for a moment. What her revealed in this report is what we've been telling you for years. The Democrat Party, the media, the party's plutocrat donors who've all been behind closed doors with Biden, the entire Biden presidency has been a lie because they've known the truth from day one, all of those groups. He's obviously not capable. He's obviously not in charge. He has no concept of time and space. And that's dangerous. And on top of that, he's turned America into a laughing stock. <clears throat> the Babylon Bee, in tragic comedic fashion, captured the moment perfectly. Man ruled too senile to stand trial, still fine to run country. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.